Let's take a look at how you can easily migrate payroll data using Xero's Switching Wizard feature. When you first access Xero Payroll, you'll be directed to the Switching Wizard landing page. At the top, there's a link to register for a live payroll webinar where you can find out more. As we scroll down, we have two options to choose from. If you haven't paid any employees yet on Xero, or you don't have an RTI file, choose Start Setup. If you're already paying employees through a different software, select Start Switch. Next, upload your FPS. An FPS is a document that employers need to submit to HMRC each pay run, which includes the employee details, pay and deductions. To learn how to download an FPS from your current payroll provider, click here. Download your last successful submission, making sure it's in XML format and select the file to upload. Enter the payroll calendar details, such as name, frequency, start date and payment date. Then select whether you want to add employee and organisation year-to-date values. If you select yes, you'll need to enter the organisation's opening balances later. Once you've made the switch, you'll see any employee opening balances in their employee record. Click Working Patterns to move to the next step. Working pattern templates speed up the process of assigning contracted hours to employees. Templates can be created for groups of employees or on an individual basis. Let's give our template a name and set it as default. This template will now be the default pattern used for new employee records. Working patterns capture actual hours worked for non-standard or flexible shift patterns. Zero calculates average weekly hours automatically. Enter any additional weeks if needed. Working pattern templates in Xero means you can be confident that pay is going to be calculated correctly for all staff, including those with unusual working patterns. Let's move on to employees. Employee records have been automatically created from the information in the FPS, saving time and reducing the risk of errors. Use the tab to check the information and fill in any missing gaps such as address, earnings, and student loans. Xero highlights completed sections with a tick, so you know which tab you've checked. Once you're all done, click Accounts. This is where you can set the bank and account codes for the automatic payroll journals. First, select the bank account. If you don't already have one in Xero, you can add it here. Once added, select it, making sure it's the account you'll be paying your employee wages from. Next, select the account codes for the automatic journal. If you're using Xero's default chart of accounts, they'll already be populated for you. It's important to get this right from the beginning to avoid mistakes being made. Remember, Xero posts the journal automatically once the pay run is processed, updating the reports with expenses and liabilities. This saves you having to do a manual journal each pay period. Next, let's head to the HMRC section. This is where you enter any reliefs, allowances and government gateway details. If you're eligible to claim for small employers relief, select Yes. Enter any year-to-date values for statutory pay, such as parental leave, if you need to add organisation opening balances. If you're eligible to claim for employment allowance, select Yes and complete the industry sector details. Then enter the amount of employment allowance you've already used, if relevant. To find out more about whether these reliefs and allowances apply to your organisation, please check out HMRC's website. And finally, add your Government Gateway credentials. 
review the information and click Import. You'll be notified when the import completes. There's a list of remaining tasks to help you set up your payroll in Xero. We've now made the switch. By using Xero's guided data conversion tool, we've reduced manual data handling and benefited from a more efficient and accurate migration. Happy switching!